Hello and welcome to this uh, tutorial. In this part, we will look at two loops, while and uh, do while. Okay, what is a loop? You know, loop is a loop. <laughs> loop is something which repeats itself. But we don't want infinite loop, do we? We don't want infinite loop, so we have a terminating condition. Loop in C or for that matter in any programming language are used to iterate over a series of statements to do useful stuff, to do repetitive stuff. C has got three loops, for loop, while loop and do while loop. I'll show while and do while in this one and for in next one, next video. So for example, uh, let's say I have declared integer i is equal to 1. Now remember, a loop has uh, typically three components. One is initialization of the counter, second is increment of the counter, and third is uh, terminating condition. Over here, i is the loop counter. That's how we know uh, loop counters are. Because why I say i is the loop counter? Because the terminating condition depends on this expression which involves i. You may have more than one uh, loop counters. In that case, your terminating condition will depend on more than one uh, variables. So here, I have initialized i to 1 and I compare i less than equal to 10 or not. So this expression is true as long as i is less than 10 or equal to 10. And as long as this is uh, true, this body will be executed. The body is either one line immediately following after a while, same as if, if you don't have braces, or the entire block marked by the braces, these two. So here I say 2 multiplied by i, that is, I am just formatting it that way, 2 multiplied by i and then I print 2 multiplied by i. This is i and this is 2 multiplied by i. And then you do the increment operation. Why this increment operation is necessary is because if I don't do increment, then i will remain same, that is 1. And because of which, this condition will actually remain true all the time and then you have got an infinite loop. So you increment. Now you can decrement also here, but that does not make sense because it will become 0 and then minus 1 and minus 2 and it will hit the uh, entire range of negative numbers and then it will round and then it will eventually become positive and greater than 10 and then the loop will terminate, but certainly not what effect we want to achieve. So this will print a table of 2. Now i has become 11, so I reset it to 1. Now if i is greater than 1 before the loop starts, not even once this body will be executed. That's what happens in do while loop. In do while loop what happens is, it is similar to while but the body will be executed at least once. Now note how while is written here, it ends with a semicolon. So it's, the body is same. So i comes with 1, do execute it and then while compares. Okay, it is still less than 1, that is 2. So it goes again and then tries, then again 3, okay, still there. So eventually it becomes 11 and then this stops. Now over here i will be 11. Now if it would have been a while loop like here and i would have been 11, this will not execute. But do while, the body will execute at least once. So let's see this in effect how this runs. Okay, make do while and then we run it. Okay, so you see the table of 2 is printed here up to here and then again in the do while it is printed here and then i becomes 11 and then do while execute at least once. Now, as I said about infinite loops. So the statement being true means in any form. So it can be 1, 1 is a positive number. So it is, uh, um, what you say, uh, it will always evaluate true, maybe 2, maybe minus 2, anything which is not 0 or false. So 
<coughs> this would cause an infinite loop so, so for example it will keep printing till infinity unless you terminate the program so to terminate the program I press ctrl C which is SIGINT or signal uh, um, for interruption we'll see signals later when we handle the signal function call of standard library and we'll uh, learn about more about signals but that is somewhat uh, not needed right now so see how a while loop uh, and do while loop operates uh, this is a, a trivial and simple example but it's quite useful right so for example if you want to print table of 3 you can simply say 3 and then it will print table of 3 and I disable here uh, the while loop for infinity and then you compile again and then you run again so you got table of 3 oops how come 3 multiplied by 10 is 20 okay so uh, I made a mistake here this side should also be 50 okay so you see <coughs> You see you have got your table of three the entire table was here bad so it was becoming ugly okay okay so this was not actually a table of two it was uh, three it was table of two so because we didn't change this so now if you change that it is here <coughs> all right so that concludes our discussion on introduction on while and do while loop in our next video we will see about for loops now for loop is most versatile of all loops but we will talk about more in that video uh, till then enjoy uh, happy programming